within the IDE, we've extended the uh, Mylar capabilities uh, to add uh, an integration for X-Planner. So with uh, the Mylar view plus uh, our extensions, you now have a unified view of your project's bugs, the requirements that you've specified in X-Planner, the tasks that you're responsible for, uh, for completing in order to implement those user stories. If you've created user stories and you're the shepherd for them, you can see those tracked here as well. If you've created bugs and you want to track the status of those bugs, those will also be shown here. Uh, and you can also include other things like code to-dos. Uh, so this is sort of a, a union of a number of different queries. Uh, the Mylar team has done a fantastic job on building this uh, initial capability, and uh, it, it's you know, it's really been very successful for us to then extend that. Uh, MyLearner also provides uh, capabilities for marking different project artifacts, uh, source artifacts, more interesting or less interesting. Uh, and that allows you to actually clean up uh, the view of project artifacts within the IDE to reduce some of the visual clutter that you can have on very large projects. And uh, Another problem that we've seen is uh, uh, compliance. In, in the world of Sarbanes-Oxley and CFR regulations, uh, uh, Six Sigma, uh, the, the need for compliance and the need for uh, careful scrutiny into the work that we're doing uh, has become really profound. And what we've provided with JBuilder uh, are some advanced tools to really understand uh, the state of your code and get to problem solutions more quickly. So we have uh, source code audits and metrics. Uh, this is actually a view of the metrics. Source code audits look at the source code and identify uh, uh, structural and dynamic problems within your source code and allow you to navigate quickly to those problems and fix them. We'll look at a live example of that later and you can actually identify things like race conditions uh, through a static analysis of your source code and be able to go in and, and surgically correct those. Uh, this, the uh, code metrics look at uh, uh, the design of your project. They look at things like coupling and cohesion and help you understand where there can be uh, excessive complexity or uh, where you may have introduced difficulties in testing because of the, the logic or the, uh, the, the design of your project. Uh, so these two things together are, are very powerful. Uh, one of the uh, one of the trends that uh, comes and goes in uh, in software development is model driven development, uh, the ability to build an application without writing a line of code. Uh, th these are nice to look at, but as a general purpose solution, not really that useful. Uh, what we've done is built on top of the live source uh, capability to give you uh, visual EJB and visual web services, uh, as well as uh, uh, full UML modeling. So starting with the live source for UML, uh, you have instant two-way UML models for Java project. You have all of the UML2 diagrams. And this is a, a really great tool for code archaeology. So if you're working on a very large, very complex project, perhaps something that's unfamiliar to you, and you need to go in and understand it and be able to surgically correct a bug, uh, it, this helps you identify the problem, helps you identify the structure of the code, make the change, understand its impact, and, and be confident in the changes that you're making. And because this is based on live source, the source code and the model are always in sync because they're really just two views of the same thing. They're just different views of the same source code. It's not a generated model from the source code or source code that's generated from a model. So you can easily uh, uh, open a project, have a, a class diagram instantly, uh, that shows you the, the static structure of your uh, application. Uh, you can navigate through that. You can select a particular, uh, you can look at it from a package perspective. You can select a particular object of interest and then show uh, a separate diagram that shows that object and all of the objects that it's related to to show either its inheritance or incoming and outgoing references. And then if there's a particular method that you need to work with, uh, you can click on that and instantly generate a sequence diagram, which is what you see on the left side of the screen here. The sequence diagram shows uh, this object and the objects that it interacts with, shows the messages back and forth between those objects, and helps you understand the dynamic nature of, of your application. We've also uh, 
built a uh, an updated uh, visual EJB designer. Uh, we have had a, an EJB designer in JBuilder for a while, and what we've done with this release is just really cranked up the volume on it. It's a very powerful tool now. Uh, it provides you a standards-based graphical representation of your EJB application, and it's full round tripping, so you don't need to start in the tool. You can start with source code if you have a legacy project. Uh, you can pull it into JBuilder 2007, and you immediately have the, the graphical view. So some folks on the team can choose to use the graphical view. Uh, other people on the team can choose to work with the source code. Um, so there's there's absolutely no lock-in. It's built on the same underlying live source technology. There's no additional licenses to purchase. And it's also uh, it, it's built on top of Eclipse WTP. So if you're already familiar with doing EJB development with WTP, this is a very, very natural extension. Uh, you still build your project, deploy your project using the same mechanisms. You still define your servers uh, using the same mechanisms. But now you have uh, additional capabilities uh, to be able to visualize uh, your project, be able to make changes, be able to automatically create uh, CMP beans directly from database tables, uh, and, and easily understand your project and uh, navigate quickly through it. And uh, it, it really increases your, your productivity and your confidence in, in managing your EGB applications. Uh, we've also built a new web services designer, also based on the live source technology. Um, we'll look at this again uh, in detail later. This provides, uh, it's again built on top of WTP. It's a very natural extension of it, uh, and it gives you the, a graphical representation. It also provides full round tripping, so instead of just forward generational web services, uh, you can change at any point. You can uh, change from the bottom up or top down. You can start from top down or do bottom up web service development. So it, it really complements what's available in Eclipse WTP. Uh, this is a, 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 another example of our mantra throughout the entire project is we don't want to superimpose something and try to replace what's in Eclipse. There's some great capabilities in Eclipse, and our goal was to make them more accessible and to help you be more productive in using them. So in, in summary, uh, uh, JBuilder 2007 uh, provides you, uh, first as a baseline, a complete managed uh, distribution of Eclipse and the most popular Eclipse plugins uh, all bundled together, installed, and certified to work together. Uh, we add uh, tools for migration, uh, not just of JBuilder projects in general, but also tools to help you migrate uh, EJB applications from EJB2 to EJB3 and from descriptor-based and uh, to xdoclet and Java 5 annotations. Uh, we have the live source technology uh, upon which we build uh, visual web services, visual EJB, and full UML modeling for Java. We have a completely new, optimized, uh, fully integrated into Eclipse built on top of TPTP. Uh, we have peer-to-peer -peer de developer collaboration, uh, and then, of course, sample apps, documentation, migration guides, and aids.